A new barrier for thousands of Arizona families without health insurance. COVID tests from the state's largest provider will now cost $100 instead of being free. It comes as federal funding expires, and that happens tonight at midnight. That program reimbursing health providers for the vaccine will also stop taking claims for uninsured patients. Nicole Grigg shows us the widespread impact this will have across Arizona. This is devastating for many Americans. For two weeks, Embry Health has still provided COVID-19 tests for free for those without health insurance. But today, Raymond Embry tells me they made the hard decision to start charging $100 a test because the money has run out, impacting. Especially underserved, potentially undocumented communities. And, you know, those are the folks that have the least amount of access to health care. Nearly 50% of their patients are uninsured. Embry says says they have not received a dollar from the federal program for the uninsured since March 16th. They have been waiting for Congress to act. You know, if we go and we close 300 test sites, we're not going to reopen those sites. Um, there's no way that we would make this kind of investment again if Congress and um, if our congressional representatives say that testing is not going to be reimbursed. Now, these testing lines are nothing like what we've seen from these surges before. We're seeing cars every couple minutes come through, though. Embry Health tells us they've been serving around 2,200 patients a day. And just before midnight on Tuesday, that same program for the uninsured will stop paying for free COVID-19 vaccines. So people who don't have insurance or don't have, are not on Medicare or Medicaid, uh, if they want to get a COVID vaccine, Unfortunately, it's not going to be paid for. Many providers likely moving to a cash pay scale for the uninsured. And the White House says without Congress passing more COVID funding, the ability to purchase more vaccines and monoclonal antibody treatments are also at risk, as well as sustaining testing capacity. In Phoenix, Nicole Gregg, ABC 15, Arizona. In depth now on how big of an impact this has, a recent study from the Kaiser Family Foundation finds one of every 10 Arizonans don't have health insurance, 11% to be specific, and that's actually 2% higher than the U.S. overall and the 10th highest uninsured rate in the nation.